Frontline health workers are leading a heroic effort to continue to fight malaria in the face of COVID-19. A year ago, many people feared that COVID-19 lockdowns and supply disruptions would double the number of malaria deaths in Africa. So far, we've avoided that worst case scenario. Thanks to African countries that quickly adapted their malaria programs to work safely during the pandemic. Malaria resources have been redirected to help control the spread of COVID-19. In Zambia, the National Malaria Elimination Program's Genomic Surveillance Laboratory switched to find COVID-19 variants circulating in the country. And in Mozambique, the application created for health workers was switched to supply critical data for the COVID-19 response. Despite this progress, the work is not over. Malaria is still killing more than 400,000 children every year. The pandemic reminds us why eradicating malaria is so important. Many of the building blocks we need to fight malaria and prevent the next pandemic are the same. Accurate data, reliable supply chains, and resources that focus on the needs of the poorest countries. Malaria programs help build stronger health systems that will not only bring an end to malaria, but protect us from the next pandemic. And that means a much healthier, safer world for everyone.